all just imagine that we are in a Facebook group together. And in that group, there is a photo that says, I just married my best friend. Now, people in the group are congratulating you, telling you how beautiful you looked, how happy you look. But there is one comment that stands out amongst the rest. And this particular comment says, you just married your best friend, but your best friend just had a baby with me four months ago. <laughs> uh, say what now? So then to that comment, you then respond, B-I-T-C-H, he ain't worried about you, ain't never been worried about you. That ain't his baby. <laughs> the plot thickens. To which the commenter then posts, oh, he ain't worried about me. He was worried about me a week and a half ago when I was over here busting it open for him. And then proceeds to post a picture of a tattoo that this person has um, in a place that, you know, everybody can't see. <laughs> so now everybody in this group is patiently waiting for the person who posted the original photo to comment because baby we in this i i don't i don't ever get into people's business like that like but baby yes when i say i am invested i'm talking about i'm a top investor i want to know the hell is going on Baby, I have never minded somebody else's business this much in my life. Do you hear me? But the back and forth has been epic. Listen here, I'm going to have to come back with a part two once, you know, Miss Mama's response. Because she ain't responded yet. But something tell me it's about to get real risky around here. And, and we about to be all up in this business together. All right, we are back with part two. And uh, before I get into that, y'all, the way y'all have been coming for me in these comments about this part two is a bit crazy. Like, I got to go to sleep. I got to go to work. I can't. I was trying to wait for the drama to unfold. The problem is it did not unfold until 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. I am 44. I got to take a nap before I go out. So I sure as hell ain't waiting up to no 1030 at night to wait for somebody to respond. But regardless, here we go. So if you don't know what I am talking about right now in the Facebook drama, I need you to go visit the previous video. So like I said, drama unfolded about 1030, 11 o'clock last night. So the wife, okay, responds to the tattoo photo. And Miss Ma'am is like, uh, that could be an old photo. I know y'all messed around, whatever, da da da, blah 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 blah. Huh. That baby mama said, no ma'am, no ham. What you are not about to do is make me seem like I'm the problem. Miss Girl posted receipts. So baby mama decides to post receipts of text messages between her and the now husband who was the fiance at the time. But y'all, here's the hottest part of this tea. Why was this man texting his baby mama on his wedding day? And how do I know it was his wedding day? Because she was very clear when she asked the wife, didn't you get married on this day? Look at the date of this message. He was texting me the morning of telling me how much he loved me. Oh, baby, this tea is burning. Do you hear me? So now the wife... Oh, she listen, she's up in arms at this point. She calling the baby mama home wrecker, calling her all out her name. And let's be clear, she knew the man had a fiance. But I think the part that was the craziest was the baby mama then says, oh, and that ring you have, he proposed to me with that ring and I turned him down. <laughs> Nigga, what? <laughs> Ma'am, you trying to tell me that this man proposed to you, you told him no, and he used the same exact ring to propose to his now wife? Oh, baby, uh-uh. So at this point, the wife has lost it. 
again, she calling the girl out her name, this, that, and the third. And I'm the baby mama is literally loving every moment of this. At this point, baby mama has not said anything additional because she had her checkmate moment with that engagement ring. But this baby is some old Jerry Springer, Maury Povich, Judge Judy, all in one type shit. Go like, dude gonna end up being an episode of Snapped. I, I'm waiting on it. I don't even know where they live. But yeah, this, this oh, this is some true bum fuckery. The way I see it, <laughs> they should have just kept this pretty private and pushing, baby. Because this tea is hot. And this sweatshirt is in the TikTok shop. Be a blessing.